Hi, I'm Jeff Fondershman of Southwest Chamber Music, and I wanted to give you some insights into our upcoming 2008-2009 season. What's motivating me, and I think something that's around us all, is the closeness of the world and the diversity of our own culture here in Southern California. So I wanted to create programs this year that in, in fact really took a good long look through each program at what brings things together and sometimes how music talks to itself across centuries and in other instances what's really going on right now. So you're going to find a lot of diversity in terms of of women composers, composers from different countries, and uh, taking a look at composers who might be older, composers who also might be younger. We'll begin this uh, process in October with the final installment of our project recording and performing all of the encounters of William Craft, who's going to be 85. And I think the percussion is in fact one of the best mo metaphors for world diversity that is in the palette of Western classical music, because it's through the percussion that we get most of the sounds of the world. And Bill's music is in fact perfect to represent this. We'll move on to a program in November of the Stockhausen Tierkreis, which is a, a selection of 12 melodies of each zodiac sign, and we're matching that with the Schubert Octet. Schubert's always described as being the composer of heavenly lengths, and Stockhausen is, in, is of course, I think, the composer who takes the imagination into outer space, literally, through most of his compositions, especially from the uh, late 50s on. Uh, we'll then move forward in January to a concert with our violinist Shalini Vigian and percussionist Lynn Vartan. That's something that's very dear to my heart. It's a, it's a program of important music and all of the composers are women. I am still surprised at how often this doesn't really happen anywhere and so I wanted to make certain that during this year where I'm thinking about these ideas that we have a program that is really a blockbuster evening and we're featuring women from Mexico from Gabriela Ortiz from Korea through the music of Unzuk Chin through Shanghai China and uh, Southern California through Joan Huang and then we're also celebrating the 80th birthday of Fia Musgrave the woman who broke the barrier for women in classical music um, she's turning 80 and we're doing a work of hers called From Spring to Spring. After that in February we'll go to a concert that brings us right up to date with all of the issues on the front page of your newspaper that have to do with terrorism and uh, the West. Uh, our good friend Charles Warren composed an opera with the collaboration of Salman Rushdie a few years ago on the, on the short story, The Haroon and the Sea of Stories, which is the first work that Rushdie wrote after the Ayatollah Khomeini put a fatwa on his head. And I think that this opportunity to hear this work is something that will really get you to reflect upon the elements of, of political repression, the challenges that we're facing with how we're going to eventually, I hope, reconcile with the, the uh, terrorist world that's uh, surrounding us. Um, after that program in February, we'll bring back and revive a work by my good friend Wadada Leo Smith, who has the Dizzy Gillespie chair in jazz at Cal Arts. Uh, we're playing a work of his that's called uh, uh, his, his Third String Quartet, Black Church, the First World Gathering of the Spirit. And Leo's music has really thought, I don't think anybody in fact, has thought as much about notation of, of idea and of sound as, as Leo Smith has. Uh, you can read about it on his website, you can link to, hit, uh, to his through ours. Um, we're surrounding him with music by Charles Ives and Antonin Dvorak. Dvorak, in fact, being the most critical figure in American music for creating the teachers who would go on to teach Ives, Copeland, Duke Ellington, and George Gershwin. We'll end the program, uh, our season, with programs devoted to the great Japanese master Toru Takamitsu. This will be in consultations with our friends at the Shumei Arts Fellowship and will be a, a, a worthwhile investigation of the aesthetics of, of Japan and of Takamitsu in general. So I'm hoping that that program, which is, which is entitled Confronting Silence, will inspire all of us to take a look at 
Western music as it was put together through the genius of Japan's Toro Takamitsu. So I hope if you're on our website, you'll look at the programs or feel free to give us a call and I'll look forward to seeing you at the concerts. Thanks.